Dad, it's time to make some more, time to make some more gravy. Man, I heard that I did. Mm-mm-mm. Boy, that sounds good. I, I don't make it from scratch, man. I, uh, <laughs> I can't lie. I, I like going and getting some of that, uh, man, what's it called? It's not Prego. I think it's Rego or something like that. It's not Prego. I don't like Prego. I do not like Prego, but, uh. I get that other kind there, and I doctor it up. I throw a lot more of this and a lot more of that in it. I'm going to have to get your recipe, brother. I wouldn't mind getting that recipe and, and making it from scratch. That would be uh, that would be cool, real cool there, break. I'll, uh, I'll make it, and um, one of these days when I'm cooking it, I will uh, do a video on it. Just Oh, that's a plan, man. That that's a plan. Yeah, that would work. That would work because you know, <clears throat> if I get a sample of it and I go to make it myself, I'm going to want to make it exactly the same. I'm sure of that. So if I know how it tastes from the uh, from the man that knows how to do it. I know I'm going to have to make it exactly the same way myself, so, yeah, that sounds like a plan in the making right there, no doubt in my mind. And then I know what to do with all these frickin' tomatoes that uh, everybody keeps sending home with the better half from work. Dude, we got tomatoes coming in left and right like it ain't nobody's business. And ain't nobody in this house eat tomatoes. Well, I take that back. Audio boy eat them. Eat them duck pluggers raw. I'm like, oh my God, that is nasty. <laughs> but eat them duck pluggers up raw, man. So yeah, make some uh, spaghetti sauce out of them. Sounds good, dear Brady. Yeah, Roger, man. You old man, it's, uh, I'll tell you, man, you let those tomatoes sit in that gallon jar. Marinating with that garlic and all the little spices that you put in there, man, for a few weeks, and then you make that sauce. What? Yeah, man. I definitely, I'm going to have to put a plan together for you, man. Definitely going to have to do that. Sounds good to me, man. Sounds good. Because I got a doggone refrigerator full of tomatoes. I was going to send them over uh, to the neighbors, man. I was going to start having the kids pass them out. <laughs> Was that boy of mine, man, he eats, he's been wanting to eat like two, three tomatoes a day. And I'm like, no, you can't do that. You're going to end up getting sick. I said, dad, dad, that ain't going to work. But, but dad, no, ain't no but dads about it. That's a lot of duck plucking uh, acid in your body. You can't keep doing that. While you got soul control of my radio. While you got soul control of my radio, and you know I can't lie. I got that duck plucking mess playing up in the room. <laughs> I don't know if you're listening to the room or not. But uh, all the boys are listening, no doubt in my mind. And they know you got soul control of my radio. All right, big brother, go on and feed your face. And make a big mess all over the place. Because I know you got a napkin or a towel laying somewhere close by. So, such a soul control in Canton, Ohio. Not down, not down, not downtown, but around the pro football hall.
Hall of Fame. So such a laying it all the way down with some diamonds. I'm gone now. Bye. 